Alrighty folks, in today's episode of In the Kitchen with Caitlin, we are making our first meal from Dinnerly, and it is this one pot, easy cleanup, um, tortellini florentine. Um, so far, super duper simple. Um, you just have to be able to, like, we're just boiling or browning the tortellini. We did have to grate some mozzarella cheese, which if you're not used to grating soft cheese, is a little bit difficult. So, you know, just give yourself grace. Um, and then we're going to mix up the sauce and um, put the spinach and the tortellini back in it. And then actually we're going to put it, I'm not going to do it in one pan because I don't have any oven safe cookware. So we're going to transfer it to like a baking dish, broil it, let the cheese melt, and then it's good to go. Um, but so far so good. Quick and easy. Um, we're getting ready to do step number three, which is to make the sauce. So I will show you guys what we've got going. Unboxing video. Um, the recipe cards for generally were actually at the bottom of the box. Um, and similarly with the other ones, it shows you how much time is anticipated, how many servings. And then this one is a little bit different. There are no pictures um, to show you the steps. Your extra credit is down here. That's if you want to add the meat. And then over here, what we send, what you need, and the tools, which this one, most of them need pepper, um, salt, olive oil, the sugar is new, and the garlic, they actually did not send any garlic, which if you are not in the kitchen a lot, that might be something that you don't have. So we've got our tortellini in here. We just put this, this is, um, you're going to use this pan to make the sauce and then put the tortellini back in with the spinach and, you know, get it all soaked up before you put it in the oven just to broil it. If you're not in the kitchen a lot, garlic might not be something that you have on hand. What I did, so like a little life hack, is I actually had extra garlic left over from last week's meal kit box that I didn't use. So you could do that. You could save it. Or I just actually buy the garlic that's already minced up. And I'm hungry tonight, and I don't feel like chopping the garlic. So I'm just going to use the pre-minced, and it's going to be fine. It all tastes the same. So these do have flexibility. You can kind of rearrange the steps um, and make it your own. We are very interested to see how much food this is and the flavors because we were really impressed with last week's kit's flavors, um, especially over kit number one. So we're going to see where this one falls and I can't wait to do the compare and contrast video for you all. all right, so we've got our sauce going over here, which is, I can officially say is homemade, which is nice. I like that I'm learning like some new skills and new recipes with these meal kits. Um, we're going to, in just a second, we're going to give that a little bit more time. Um, we're going to add in the spinach and then we're going to put the tortellini back in. Do not mind my messy counter. Um, and then we just have to broil it with the cheese on top and it'll be ready to go. So I started this dinner at about 520 and it's just now 55. So it's taken me about 35 minutes. I have been taking breaks to film and of course, like, you know, deal with my Spotify and read the recipe card and all of that. This is my unboxing video. Dinnerly is the most expensive of the three meal kits that I've tried so far. Um, we got 16 servings of food and it, um, was $90. Um, and no, I don't know the math per serving, but you can do it. Um, I'll put it like probably as text here on the screen, I'm sure. Um, and, but I will say that the meals themselves like feel like fancier. So like we've got this tortellini Florentine and then we have, a Thai lemongrass chicken with, I think, two sides um, and everything. Bagel crusted steak with a side. A pork scallopine with a side, which includes a salad, which that's the first meal that we've gotten a salad. Um, so I feel like the meals themselves are a little bit higher quality, um, but I haven't tasted them, so I don't know. But I'm disappointed in the fact that they didn't sort out the ingredients. That's kind of a con for me. I like how with the one meal kit, everything kind of came already together. Um, and I almost don't like that there aren't any pictures because how do I know if I'm doing something right if I can't look at the picture? Um, so we're going to put the tortellini and the spinach in here and then I will check in with you guys in a minute. 
And then here is how it turned out. And it's Thursday night. And every Thursday night I've been having wine. So I did pick out um, just a sweet red blend to go with it. So that's been kind of fun, like picking out a dish that I think will pair nicely with some wine just to like, you know, have that little moment of like wind down for lack of a better word. So we're going to give this meal a taste and then see how it compares to the others. Do want to point out that this was supposed to be a four person meal. I took what I intend to eat and that is about how much, how much is left. So between my husband and I, this is not like we cannot get a second meal out of this. So for me, this would, and for what our needs are, this would be like most likely two, but maybe three servings. All right. It's good. Much more like, well, coated and the flavors are like much more balanced than the pasta dish from the other meal kit. So this one's way better. It was super easy. So ease, I would give it like an eight. Um, really the only part that I struggled with was rating the cheese and um the tortellini got a little bit more done than I think they would have if you just boiled them but the recipe specifically called for them to be like pan fried which I've never done before um and I love the spinach in it and the cheese is good I like you could toss some grated parmesan on I did add some just little red pepper flakes just to give a little bit more heat but overall it's it's good um and if you broil it, like the cheese gets nice and melty on the top. Um, we're lacking that a little bit because our broiler doesn't work super well. But, um, so overall, I would, flavor-wise, I would probably also give it an 8. Um, but then again, I'm like hesitant to give it that high because this is our first meal out of this box. So maybe I'll lean more on the, the generous side for myself and give it like a 7. Um, leave room for the other meals to kind of blow me away. But... Again, this was the most expensive box, and we only got 16 servings of food compared to last week's 20 um, for a higher price point. So the flavors are better. Maybe. I didn't try a pasta dish from last week's. So, like, now I have this, I want to try a pasta dish from last week's box to see if, you know, where it falls. Um, so it's kind of giving me an idea of what I want to add to my next box. Um... And I don't love that I had to pluck the ingredients out of the, the big box myself. So it'll be interesting to see what the winner is for the best meal kit box. So stay here on the channel and I'll see you guys next time.